This piece is really, really unique in that it kind of is a crossover piece between a very standard classical violin concerto, but there's also a lot of bluegrass and fiddle elements incorporated in, into this piece. And so it's been really fun getting to kind of play around with those and realize that I don't have to put on my best violinistic chops for that and just kind of let loose a little bit and have fun with those parts of the concerto while other parts are super virtuosic and pretty challenging, um, but also really rewarding to play. Growing up in Nashville, I studied with um, the violin teacher Connie Hurd at the Blair School of Music at Vanderbilt University. Um, I always saw her perform in the Blair String Quartet and just really admired her for her artistry, for her teaching, and in some ways, most importantly, the incredible person that she is. Um, and so when I was about nine years old, um, it, my family and I decided that it was time to switch teachers and study with someone that wasn't a Suzuki teacher. And um, that's when I made the leap to her. I first studied with her at the Sewanee Summer Music Festival in Sewanee, Tennessee. And then after that summer, started studying with her full time during the school year. Um, and I just can't say enough wonderful things about Connie Hurd. Um, I often think to myself when I'm in a situation and I don't know what to do, whether it's musical or non-musical, I'll think to myself, what would Connie do? <laughs> so she's just been, a really, really um, special, uh, meaningful, important person in my life. Um, and I'm so grateful to have had her be a part of it. Um, I've wanted to perform it for a long time. And the reason it's so special is because, again, having grown up in Nashville, I saw Edgar Meyer give recitals probably about once a year at the Blair School of Music. Um, and he would play crazy things like Zagoyner Weizen by Sarasate, which is written for violin, but he of course played it on the bass. Or like a Paganini Caprice, but on the bass. His, he's probably the best bass player in the world. And um, he's just, he's incredible what he does, both with his, his bass playing, but also with his, with his compositions. And this piece was written um, when I was in high school and I was still studying with his wife, Connie Hurd. And um, I remember Connie talking to me about the, when this piece was being written and he would get done with a page and then fax it off to Hilary Hahn, who this piece was originally written for. Um, so it's just a very special experience to get to play this piece this weekend. Um, Catherine and I are very good friends and we have kind of a Tennessee connection to this piece. Catherine's from Nashville and um, <clears throat> I grew up in East Tennessee near Knoxville and this piece was written by probably the most famous bass player in the world, Edgar Meyer, and he lives in Nashville as well. And Catherine actually grew up studying with Edgar Meyer's wife in Nashville. So it's, it's, it's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a little Tennessee to go along with this, <laughs> with this concerto, which is really fun because it, there's a lot of kind of fiddling and fun references like that, it, in addition to some incredibly virtuosic writing for the violin as well. <laughs> 